Welcome to my channel on this Thursday, January 4th, 2024. That's the first time that I've said 2024. I have to make sure to, uh, well, I actually don't write too many checks. But I have to make sure that uh, the next check has 2024. Just got back from the grocery store, which uh, I do the uh, usual, get more than um, I planned on, and I walked, so almost pulled my arms out of the sockets on the way home, but I actually, surprisingly, I spent $100, but I felt like I got a lot of stuff. I got a lot of individual things. I'm going to try something new for the future uh, with some uh, cooking ingredients. But I took the milk out. I bought a milk, a gallon of milk. It's required just before snowstorm to rush down to the grocery store and get milk, egg, and bread. So, yeah, we're expected to get a snowstorm. Not a blockbuster, but it looks like we might get about six inches because I'm closer to the coast. But inland might get up to nine inches. We'll see. I'm not, I, I primed the, uh, I prepped the snowblower a couple of weeks or about a week ago. Changed the oil, changed the spark plug, got it to start up. And I'll do that tomorrow. Start it up. I have to get uh, a gallon of gas. Or I have to get the gas can filled. But I took the milk out. And I said, you know what? It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I haven't eaten. So I'm going to make myself... I've got this milk here, but it's, it's good until the 14th. But I got this Carnation Instant Breakfast stuff. I can hear the, uh, the wind in the chimney behind me. Probably can't hear it. It's not going to make any sound here. This stuff sort of like uh, resists getting mixed. And, you know, I got my long spoon here. And it reminded me that. Uh, you know how when you have like a sleepover when you're a kid and uh, you notice that other people have different quirks or different habits or they do things differently. Like maybe they make their pancakes differently. I remember a friend I had and he, he was over and he liked the pancakes that my mother made, but I liked the pancakes that they made. Because they made, they made it like from Bisquick or something like that. It was handmade pancakes. But my mom would make pancakes that were like, you know, round. Like I sort of make them. But I like them when they're sort of irregular. And also, I think I got a pancake that the center was still um, batter, raw, and I like that. So sometimes I like to make my pancakes so that I flip them real quick so that they're not completely, I know they have raw eggs in them. The ones that I like, I like to get the batter that's got the raw eggs. I mean, that requires an egg. on a tangent. Oh, yeah, talk about a tangent. So I go over 
his house and we have ice cream and it blew my mind because he put ice cream in a glass and I had just never done that and he had a long spoon I think we had a long spoon hit the spot though and then I got a dozen eggs of course 549 for a dozen eggs they pretty much all say caged free now <laughs> I used to associate cage free with organic but I think it's different Always check my eggs. Cage free. Who is having a shortage of eggs? Somebody was, was it China? Oh no, I think it was. having a shortage of eggs and I'm like you know I don't know in a free market you think if there's a shortage of eggs people go get chickens and eggs get made real quick you just have chickens and put them outside right probably not that easy but I was thinking of ordering some heirloom chicken off of Amazon, uh, eBay. You can get the eggs on, on eBay. Excuse me. Bread. Honey wheat bread. Honey wheat bread is four twenty nine. Of bread. So what I'm thinking of doing is uh, I've been seeing watching some videos on Japanese cooking um, but I like the idea of the hot pot or also miso soup. So I got them some uh, ingredients for making some miso soup. Um, I have pizza dough warming on the counter, coming to come room temperature for a couple of hours because it's been in the fridge for a couple of days. And I bought some um, sausage because the other, uh, I tried making my own dough, didn't come out too good. It was okay. And, um, but I put onion on there and I'm like, this is pretty good. I don't usually have, like, I know people have onion pizzas, you know, just onions as a topping 
or maybe onion and sausage. So I bought some sausage. I'm going to break that up, pre-cook it, break it up, put it on the pizza with onion, some diced onion for my uh, pizza tonight. I think that's what I'm going to get or make. But I sort of started looking at sections of the grocery store that I don't usually visit and it's like a whole new world I'm like oh I mean I've walked by it all the time I've noticed it here and there but there actually has a, a section that had like um, pre-made you know clam chowder um, you know chicken noodle soup oh chili no one was uh, chili not like I didn't it was fresh chili not like the stuff in the can. In fact, now that I think about it, I didn't realize that I've been always getting that Hormel chili in a can. And, um, yeah, I gotta try that next time I think about it. It was near the deli department. Fresh chili. So I got this Yakisoba stir fry noodles, right?
three packets inside this package. So here's another thing I can make, is the soup, a broth with tofu. Now, I'm not familiar with, with tofu, what I'm supposed to use. There's a firm tofu and a soft tofu. I think I bought a firm one that's like fresh. And then, I don't know if I bought it or not or I put it back on the shelf. There's tofu in the refrigerated section. But then there was another like um, vacuum sealed pack of tofu. And the soup aisle, just regular on the shelf. So, miso soup. This makes it easy. It's probably got a lot of sodium in it, I bet, though. Not that much potassium. 95 milligrams. Oh, sodium. 720 milligrams. So they have this, and then they have a green one. I think I bought one of each. So... The, um, I wonder what this is under, probably, okay, $4.90, they're expensive, $4.99, but you get three packs in each, M-U-S-O from Miso, yeah, this is it, oh, a dark and a light, so, this says white, says mixed I said that the fridge came on. I don't see. 
see it anywhere. So four ninety nine a piece. And then to be safe, because I wasn't certain what those miso ingredients flavor is. Oh, I got this. There was this thing on the shelf. I didn't buy it, but I recognized. It. I said, "Oh, that's what they must be using." And the cooking videos I watched. It almost looks like a black pepper, but it isn't. Um, so chicken broth. Chicken broth, two forty nine. So quick to make it. That reminds me. So the other day, I was real hungry. There was nothing in the house. I had leftover white rice in the fridge, and I had a can of chicken broth. That's all it was, and then some crushed black pepper on that. I didn't even put any vegetables in it. I don't think I could. I might have put some broccoli f uh, flowerets in there because I had fresh broccoli in the vegetable tray. But it was delicious. It really hit the spot. Just a chicken broth and rice soup. Excuse me.
using it. Uh, just reminding me, so I go through the self checkout, and I got my basket that's packed, and then I have the gallon of milk. So I go through self check checkout. I scan the milk. I put it down on the uh, little side table, and then I I open up two paper bags ready to receive groceries. I get my next item to scan, and I look. And there's something already on, you know, the total. And for some reason, well, the um, the self checkout next to me was not working and was saying, you know, uh, help is on the way. So subconsciously, I must have connected to the two. So I said, oh, there's somebody left an item on here. So I went to cancel it out, and of course, as soon as you do that, the light goes off, requesting help. So somebody came over, and I'm like, yeah, there was already an item on here. I tried to cancel it. And then as soon as I said that, I said, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> That's the milk. I, I, I completely forgot about the milk. After one second of placing it down and scanning it, so this sausage here, five ninety nine. I needed more cheese for my pizza. I wasn't certain if I had enough. So I got the the pizza, pizza cheese, and then I bought some pizza sauce, or just regular tomato sauce. I didn't. I didn't like the pizza sauce I bought the last time. It was specifically called pizza sauce. It was it was too rich, too much going on. Um, I know I seen the cheese here somewhere. Pizza cheese blend, five ninety nine. Is the pizza? This is regular, just tomato and basil. That's all I want. I don't like the chunky stuff. That would be like on a pizza. I don't like that. I saw this is this is just fine for a pizza. What was this? Um, somewhere. Produce grocery. Classic pasta sauce. 329 329 Oh, I did buy it. So this is the tofu that was on the shelf. Mori new silken tofu. So this is soft tofu. soup and 
this is what you use for cooking. I guess because of the texture thing, maybe you want something with a little bit more firmer texture to simulate a meat product. And that one there is... I'm not certain what that one would be. I'm only seeing that one. It would be under refrigerated. That's funny. Baked produce. Oh, this. Yeah, extra. Extra firm. Three forty nine for this one. That's. That's a lot of uh, protein for the price, I guess. You know, comparing that to the chicken. And I couldn't resist. I had to get, uh, I was thinking about pancakes and I haven't made them recently because I didn't have any more syrup. So, syrup is expensive. I don't even know why they bother having, I would think that it would uh, be tempting for a, uh, shoplifting when you have something that's like twenty dollars so this maple syrup here this is eleven ninety nine for this little sixteen fluid ounces that's it so that's it so that's today's grocery haul Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.